friends welcome to my workplace at ranaghat west bengal india this is a cataract with grade 3 nuclear sclerosis and there is a posterior synechia at 9 o'clock also there is a fibrous band between 8 o'clock and 11 o'clock i have taken up this case for surgery let us observe the surgical steps by this time the main incision and two sideboards on either side of the main incision have been made. Now this is an air bubble filling off the anterior chamber. Underneath this air bubble, tripan blue 0.06% dye is applied to stain the anterior capsule of the cataractus lens. And now I wash the dye with BSS. After washing the dye out of the anterior chamber, this is 2% SPMC filling off the anterior chamber. Some amount of SPMC is applied behind the iris. And now this is an iris spatula breaking the synechia at 9 o'clock and now I take the capsular axis forceps, uterata forceps I just wanted to see if I can remove the fibrous band between 8 o'clock and 9 o'clock but it is very firmly adherent and if I try to remove this there can be even iridodialysis so I injected visco again and used these forceps. This is a vitreous scissor, not forceps. Use this vitreous scissor to cut the fibrous band. Without cutting this band, I cannot use a people expansion device. I cannot use the BHEX people expansion device. So I just made two small cuts and now some more visco and then X people expander is being used to keep the people dilated during surgery. Here it is. The device is taken completely into the anterior chamber the leading flange is tucked and then the flange at 1 o'clock is tucked alternate flanges are tucked and then I go through the left side port and tuck the flange at 10 o'clock that's it and now some more manipulation is done so that people becomes central yes it is central now and now I do capsulorexis the anti-capsule has been cut with a 26 gauge band needle now I hold the capsular tag with the uterator forceps go anticlockwise all around and do this nice capsulorexis and now is the time to do hydro dissection cortical cleaving hydro dissection yes cortical cleaving hydro dissection is done and now the nucleus is tapped and rotated yes the nucleus is free from the capsule and now some more visco and then I introduce the tip of the FECO needle first bevel down remove some superficial cortical lens matter 
and then I make the bevel up and do direct chop bury the teeth completely into the substance of the nucleus go for a distance and then chop the nucleus into two heminuclei each heminucleus is further chopped into two large fragments and then these fragments are emulsified and engulfed. FECO power used, ultrasonic power used in this case is 60%. Flow rate being used is 45 ml per minute and vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury. This is last but one piece and this is the last nuclear fragment. It is subdivided into two smaller pieces and they are emulsified and removed. And now is the time to manage the epinucleus but epinucleus, this is cortical matter and maybe a bit of epinucleus. I tried to remove it with the handpiece itself, but I just came out. I was not confident enough to remove it with the handpiece. So I take the 23G Simco and remove the ticks from one o'clock to six o'clock and then I come to twelve o'clock and then I remove the cortex from six o'clock and seven o'clock by this time bimanual irrigation aspiration is ready so I just come out and use the bimanual irrigation aspiration for removal of the cortex from 8 o'clock to 12 o'clock. Irrigation is from the right and aspiration from left. And this is done nicely. So by the time the irrigation aspiration gets ready, you can remove a lot of cortex by the Simco cannula itself. This view is without Omniglow. So far, Omniglow is being used for the surgery. Omniglow is a coaxial illumination system devised by Dr. Kakadia of Vabnagar, India. In this case, we have selected a Hoya Intula lens. It's a beautiful lens from Japan. Here goes the lens. Well, there is B hex. The leading haptic should go into the bag, and the trailing haptic should go beyond the flange which is just beneath the main incision yes the lens has gone into the capsular bag and now I inject some more visco this is just checking if it is in the bag or not yes the lens is in the bag then I use some more visco. This is 2% SPMC. And then remove the B hex expansion device. Hold this flange at 4 o'clock 
untuck all the flanges and just pull it out and now the visco that was there in the entry chamber and capsula bag is thoroughly removed this is irrigation of the capsular bag and now the antechamber is irrigated the antechamber angle is also irrigated and then irrigation and aspiration is used together visco is removed very nicely so that I can avoid post off rise of visco induced raised visco induced iop and now this is moxie and then the side ports are closed by corneal stromal hydration corneal stroma on other side of the side port is hydrated and these stab wounds get closed and now this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber I've seen this case after four hours the patient was doing well no corneal edema and very mild flare in the anterior chamber the antechamber is nicely formed and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, empathy and great surgical competence.